you recording this? Guys, come take a look at this! Guys, welcome back! You see this? You think it just comes out of your furnace like nothing? No, this requires some work, some steps. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this from nothing. The main idea of lost wax casting is that we will use the wax as a way to make a negative space for the metal to fill. The first step is to make what we want out of the wax. Then we will coat this wax piece with plaster or some kind of other material that can withstand the temperature of molten metal. We then melt out the wax and fill in the empty cavity with our molten metal. Now there are many other methods for casting metal, but this one is one of the best for sculpture. Now that we have a short overview of the process, let's begin. Let's start off where we last left off last time, unmolding the starfish. The first step we do next is make a pour cup. This cup will create the opening where we will pour the metal into. When done coating the cup, we place the wax into the freezer to cool down. This will help us demold it later on. While we wait for the cup, let's begin to clean up the flash and fill in any holes in the wax starfish. We need to make sure the starfish looks its best. When I felt it was good, I started to spruce the figure. I also added some vent sprues which let any captured air escape from the mold. With the sprueing done, it's now time to plan out the investment method. I decided to use a little bit of hardware cloth along with some cardboard to make the border for the plaster investment. I just wrapped the cardboard around the piece to see how much is needed. I marked the amount with the marker. I cut the hardware cloth using the paper as a template. I used a bit of thin wire to sew the ends of the hardware cloth together. Once the walls for the mold were done, I used a bit of hot glue and glued the bottom to the wooden board. The 
It's now time to mix up our investment material. We're going to try Plaster of Paris mixed with sand. The sand does two main things. It helps us save on plaster and it helps reduce cracking. The recipe we used was a quarter to one part sand to plaster mixed by weight. One part plaster to a quarter part sand. But next time I'd probably try to use a bit more sand in the recipe. We mixed the plaster and poured it into the form. We let it cure for 24 hours. and once it cured, it was time to melt and burn the wax out. We used our homemade furnace to do the burnout. We started off with a bit of charcoal on the top of the mold to slowly melt out the wax and drive the water out from the plaster. As time went on, we checked on the progress as well as adding more charcoal to the furnace. Once the majority of the wax was melted out, we lit a bigger fire in hopes of burning out the remaining wax. The next day we came back to check on the piece and discovered that a small crack formed and also that the wax did not burn out. If the crack did not form, I probably would have tried to fully burn out the wax, but I was afraid of it getting bigger in the process. So it won't get any bigger. But it did not seem too much of a problem and we continued with the cast. We buried the piece in sand and began to melt our aluminum. Piece that 
bohong. We carefully melted the aluminum, adding more aluminum as we went. It totally burned. Once we had enough aluminum melted, we added a bit of borax to help remove the impurities in the aluminum, and then skimmed them out. A little longer and then we'll pour it. Make sure it's like flaming hot. All the vents cleared. The pour looked good. All the vents cleared and the cast was very promising. It was almost time to break it out. I was very pleased with the results. Our starfish came out great. Now, it was time to clean it up. Starting off with the usual of cutting the sprues and then polishing to make it shiny. Because shining is what stars do.
Once cleaned up, it came out super nice. I was quite surprised with how well the detail transferred from the wax to the plaster and then to the final piece. The casting process involves a lot of steps, but after seeing the process of making this guy, you can get an understanding of how a wax sculpture turns into a cool piece of molten metal art. Into the pot, okay, we're gonna melt you. What do you think? Huh? Not to do! Here, we need to protect it. 